what generally when when someone says SCC, it's more more or less like a policeman's role where it's looking at him. But now you mentioned, you know, there's a development aspect involved in this. We'll we'll extensively talk about it. But before going there, uh, I want to pick on something you just mentioned about investors. Now, foreign investment FDI word that has been spoken of regularly these days and you know we are looking for it almost all Sri Lankans looking forward towards the development of the country are really uh, looking at how to improve the foreign exchange within this country. Uh, Mr. Viraj, how, how, firstly, how does the identification between a foreign investor and an investor and a domestic investor that that demarcation be made, and what are the rights or what are the uh, specific you know guidelines given to either of those parties? Because we are looking, we are looking forward for investors coming from uh, other countries, and now it's it's a very positive sign to see that we have taken we have taken steps to update our law in the in this year itself. What, how does that demarcation happen, if I may ask, like foreign investment and a domestic investor? Yeah. Well, uh, there is no distinction when it comes to investors, whether, whether you are a domestic investor or whether you are a foreign investor. investor there is no actual difference. All, all investors uh, will be treated alike. Well, uh, what's important is to protect the investor, yeah. be it uh, a local investor or a foreign investor. Uh, let me tell you one uh, anecdote. We were in uh, Dubai recently on an investment promotion drive, and we happened to go to Abu Dhabi mm -hmm. to meet with the chairman of the Abu Dhabi um, uh, Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And uh, I think just about two or three minutes into our conversation, what he asked us was, uh, what laws do you have for investment protection? Okay. Right? So, so you see, as when, when, uh, when you talk of foreign investors, it is essential that we have a legal regime that will, that has uh, that has provision for the protection of in, uh, investor. So that is why I said um, that is that is the prime most uh, uh, task of the regulator okay. to ensure that the investments of investors, be it foreign or local, mm -hmm. are protected. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to foreign investors, if you are to woo uh, individual investors or foreign funds. Uh, the, the importance of having a proper legal regime mm -hmm. uh, becomes uh, of uh, paramount uh, importance right. because they will want to know uh, what provisions we have in our law for the protection of investors, how do the uh, market institutions function, how do the market intermediaries function. Mm -hmm. So they need to be satisfied with all of that in taking a decision whether to come to our market. Mm -hmm. So that is why it is important to have a proper legal regime.